Hello! Right, we're back again for another test. And um, today I've got a bit of an unusual one, or uncommon one. Um, this is a 7-pot lava yellow. Um, so yeah, this is, well, not very common at all. Uh, basically, I tested the uh, red 7-pot lava um, last year. Ed sent me one of the pods. And um, from, those, from that one pod, I took out seeds. And from those seeds, John grew some out and out of the one pot he's actually ended up with red chocolate and yellow seven pot lava um, this is the yellow one awesome looking pot kind of got that yellow maruga yellow brain strain sort of bumpy looking top to it and then with a gnarly looking kind of tail hanging down in the middle and um, yeah it's absolutely awesome looking and um, yeah I'm gonna cut it open and um, crack into it and see what we got. You'll have to excuse the kids out there screaming and playing. Um, yeah, not much of a smell from the outside. Um, I'm going to be cutting this open but I'm not going to be taking any seeds from it and i um, not going to be keeping any seeds from myself or to send out to anyone else. So please don't ask for seeds for this one. Um, yeah, it's a bit of an early one obviously, completely unstable. And whoa, inside, absolutely loaded. Well, I'll say it's loaded with the percentage, it's probably not. It's just the way the pod kind of tucks up inside itself. It makes it look like there's a lot of percent in there. And actually there, there really isn't much percenter. Um, yeah, quite a few seeds tucked away in the background, but that's where they're going to be staying. Almost like... Um, like green veins running through the center. You probably can't see that on the camera here. But yeah, a bit unusual. It actually smells, yeah, it smells quite nice. It's got like a, just a faint, a faint yellow soup pot smell. Um, almost, I would, I would liken it I suppose to the yellow seven, but maybe not, not quite as strong smelling as the yellow seven. Um, yeah, we'll, We'll see what it's like. John doesn't think these are very hot, or certainly ones he's had haven't been very hot, but we'll see. I haven't had anything hot for at least a week or so, so we'll see what it does. So this is the yellow seven pot lava. Cheers. Quite a mouth for a pop. That second swallow just kind of whacked me in the back of the throat. Ah. Mm. Until I'm eating anything hot for a while. Because that just completely completely nailed me from the from the start there. Ah. Second I kind of chewed, chewed it up. It just started exploding heat all around all around the mouth. But <coughs> and then the second I swallowed it, it's gone straight into the back of the back of the throat. But yeah we We'll see what it does. As you can see, as you can see, it's caused some pretty instant hiccups. But as I said, I've eaten nothing hot at all in the last few days.
very unusual burn, actually. It's kind of, <gasps> it's quite superficial, if that, if that makes any sense. It's not like a really deep burn, but it's quite a stingy, stingy aggravating burn. It's going all around, all around the inside of my lips, on top of the tongue, and yeah, a bit into the throat, although the throat's kind of dying down already. But yeah, that's really, really giving the front of the mouth and the tongue a good solid whack. I have to say flavour-wise, on the pot, especially being that it was yellow, not up there on my top <coughs> list of favourites. It actually tasted, although it's a right, a right pod. It had that kind of green, unripe, unripe pod taste, and um, yeah, a little, a little bit kind of sharp and tangy in the background. It's definitely not left a pleasant taste in the mouth at all quite bitter in some ways which again is quite unusual for, for the yellow um, but yeah heat is don't get me, don't get me wrong it's not up there with some of the supers but it's enough to give me a fair whack and um, yeah it's a decent sized pod as well which probably helped and yeah we've got tears we've still got hiccups my tongue inside my lips and on my gums a bit are kind of yeah quite painful actually but kind of the, the deep all round burn is it's calmed down already and um, yeah we want for the hiccups I think I'd be alright but those hiccups as per normal <gasps> just make it so hard to talk uh, producing heaps of drool in the mouth and um, yeah all out I think hotter than hotter than I expected from what John was telling me um, but yeah it's definitely not out there with some of the others but I would say it's got a decent Decent level of burn. It's got at least half to two thirds of the burn of a yellow seven. John thought more like a third, but I think it's higher than that. Unless I just had a particularly hot pot, then perhaps I should have done a couple of reds beforehand and then eaten the yellow to see see if it has any difference. But I got one of the uh, the normal red seven pot lavas to try as well. So we see how that compa <coughs> compares to this one, and um, yeah, well, I've already tried the chocolate. That was insanely hot, um, but yeah, all these are still high, highly unstable, and um, obviously no um, no seeds available for them yet. I'm not even sure if seeds are available for the red one yet, um, but. If you want to find out, contact Judy at pepperlover, pepperlover.com. Bloody hiccups. And um, yeah, have a look on her website. See if there's any seeds available. There certainly won't be seeds for the yellow one yet, but keep your eye out. And um, you never know, there might be seeds available soon. So I think that's about it. Although the hiccups are still kind of wanting to attack me, the bulk of the heat has died down now. And um, it's left the kind of mouth on fire, but yeah, all round um, an unusual one. Not not my top flavour, um, but heat, yeah, certainly kind of mid range, a mid range soup hot that one. Not up there with the ultras, um, not quite up there with the likes of the yellow seven, but still hot enough to do some serious damage. So yeah, awesome. Right, I think that's it. And um, yeah, thanks to John for sending another pod. And um, thanks for watching. I'll catch you again very soon. Cheers.